guys, Cindy out here with my Arts Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, today we're here to work on uh, our ABCs of chronic pain. And we are on the letter S, as in Sam. Don't have very many left, but boy, this is getting thick. I'm going to have to put up, make a belly band for around it. All right, so we have our letter S today. Now, what I did is I, I was working on another project, and I pulled out these. Um, these are just wipe-off sheets. Um, from a friend of mine that sent it to me in Happy Mail and I just want to I want to use these because I think they're really cool so let's use these all right so let's talk about our S's today we're gonna talk about our our bad side our bad words our uh, symptoms our problems <laughs> um, the first one that I'm gonna say is uh, suffering and yeah, when you live in chronic pain, you suffer, don't we? Um, we have a lot of suffering. Where'd my scissors go? Lost my scissors. Uh, we have a lot of suffering when it comes to the pain. Um, unfortunately, there's not enough technology or medicines or um, knowledge at this point to fix all of the chronic pain, at least that we're aware of or don't have enough money to uh, purchase. <laughs> so yeah, we do a lot of suffering and it's difficult. Um, how I deal with my suffering is my journal, Netflix, my family, um, friends, I say, hey, you know, I'm having a really, really hard time. You know, I need a little bit of help today. And yeah, we have to do that, right? So the first one, like I said, is suffering. And, um, the next one, uh, these are actually more like symptoms. I'm trying to decide what I want to put on the back of this one. I love these. These are so cool. Um, I'm going to see if I can fit one right about there. That works. Uh, so these are pretty much symptoms. What have we got? We're sore. Um, I actually have spots on my body that you can't touch to touch them it feels excruciating it's like you're sticking a knife in me um, so sore I say is one of them um, if you have some type of an arthritis you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about when I say stiff it's very difficult sometimes to even get out of bed in the morning because your body is just so stiff you just want to stay there and not move um, that comes a lot from the arthritis it also comes from the fibro um, and I'm sure the muscles, the muscles and joints that are being used, I should say the muscles, not really the joints, the muscles that are being used trying to protect the injured parts of your body, um, they get worn out and they get stiff. And that's just, that is, that it is what it is, right? So what else do we have? We have a sharp, I usually get really sharp pains. Um, I usually get stinging. Uh, a lot of times it'll feel like my arms are just on fire, like with a bunch of fire ants and it stings. Uh, that happens quite a bit. Um, what else? Sad. Yeah, we get sad, right? It's very difficult to um, try to stay upbeat all the time. We get sad. This is a punch that I got from EK Success, I believe is the name of it, EK. And it's just a ink splash. I love this punch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take, these are some paint chips that I got at my local department. Um, oh, it was either a Home Depot or Lowe's, I think. And I'm gonna make some splotches for on my page. All right, so um, sad, yeah, it's part of chronic pain. Nothing you can do about it, to be honest with you. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I don't ever think you can change it. Um, the only thing you can do is accept it. Um, you know, we all have our sad days, and you know, if it's if you're sad just because of where you're at in life, um, and you have the ability to make changes. If you're sad because, you know, why me? Well, there's no answer for that. So we just need to accept it. You know, pull up our, pull, put on our big panties. And um, yeah, learn to live with what we've been dealt with. 
So, you know, I, I turn to my journal a lot. Um, like I said, when I'm gone, whoever reads my journals, they're going to totally understand who I am because it's all in there and it's okay. I don't mind it being all in there because you know what, maybe in the future, maybe one of my granddaughters or if I ever have a grandson, you know, maybe they'll learn a little bit from it. Who knows? So yeah, I turn to my journal a lot when I have those feelings and, um, it works for me. So let's see, on our sad side, we're going to put down our words. We have suffering, and we have sore, we have stiff, we have sharp, and sad. And I'm sure there's a ton more. Um, I'm sure there is a ton more uh, S words that we could use. Um, right now, I'm just I'm thinking I need some washi, so I'm looking for some washi. Um, there's a I'm sure there's a bunch more S words, but you know, right off the top of my head, those are the ones I came up with, and I think they pretty well describe you know what we go through. I just want to put a little bit of. Oh, something black here. I decided that my tag needed some black washi. And I think I might put a little bit here. Just because I can. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty simple tag today. But that's okay. Simple's good, right? Oops, get back here, you. You know, this also just shows that you don't have to have a ton of supplies. You don't have to have, um, you know, everything under the sun to make a simple tag. I love making tags. They're so easy to make. And, you know, just using that wipe-off paper on the background just gave it such a cool background to work with. Right? So here's our, our darker side. Let's go to our lighter side. Um, of our S words and there's a few words on this side that are quite powerful. Um, I want to use this color. What other color do we want to use? I want to see if I can find like a mauve. Oh, let's use, will that work? That'll work. Okay, so the words on this side um, the first one I thought of when I thought of S words, and this is something that I just, I, I like to do. Um, it's something that makes me feel comfortable and, you know, I'm, I'm always up for it. And that's just to snuggle. I, I love to tell my hubs, I just, I just need to snuggle. I need you to hold me. I just, that's what I need at this point. And, and it happens. And if you have somebody, oh, that one doesn't want to cut. I wonder why. Okay, that one didn't want to cut. Let's try it again. Um, you know, if you have somebody, whether even if it's not even a person, even if you just snuggle up with your pets, and I don't know why this is not working now. What did I do? Did I break it? Huh. Um, even if you can snuggle up with your pets, okay, um, I now have a puppy who is actually sleeping beside me. I don't know why this isn't working. It worked for my first one. Sorry guys, beating up, there's we go. All right, what was in it? All right, it's working now, let's try it again. So yeah, snuggle up with your pets, um, snuggle up with your spouse, you know, if you have a friend that can give you a hug. I don't understand why this isn't working. All right, well we got two of them, so I really wanted one more. Let's see if we can find another one. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting off track here. But hey, it's working. Um, so yeah, snuggle. Snuggle with your pet, snuggle with your mate, snuggle with your pillow, your teddy bear, whatever, you know. Sometimes you just have to have that inner reflection time just to relax and, and you know, snuggle. 
Um, another thing that we need quite a bit of when we're going through this is support. If you don't have a support system at home, please don't think you're all alone. Um, there are other ways to get support out here. Um, one could be, I just thought I saw a spider. Uh, one way can be to talk to your online friends. You know, years ago it was like, oh, you can't talk to online friends. They're not real people. Well, yeah, we are real people. And we're here. We're not going anywhere. So if we can help you, reach out to us. Reach out to your online friends and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm having a rough day. Can you help me out? Can you chat? Can you listen? Um, I am always here to listen. You know, if you want my personal advice, I'll be glad to help you. If you just want me to listen, that's fine as well. I have no issue with that. I know back when I was um, dealing with the chronic pain in the very beginning, I had really nobody that I could talk to that understood. Um, not saying that my husband was not supportive because he is, he always has been. But it's different when you find somebody that um, lives in the chronic pain, somebody that understands what it feels like. Um, it, it's different. So I like this piece of string that was sitting here, so I think I'm going to glue it on here. So yeah, um, support is huge. And again, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. Um, you know, if it's something that you know, you feel uncomfortable about, see if you can find a close friend or a relative or someone you can trust to talk to. Um, again, if, you know, you ever need me to listen, talk, advice, whatever, I'm here, just reach out on Messenger. Not a problem. Um, and one of the last words that I have on this side is strength. It takes a lot of strength to deal with chronic pain. A lot of strength. Um, I can tell you that people that I know that live with chronic pain are so much stronger than your ordinary person. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in the fact that the pain that they deal with on a daily basis is so difficult that they have to be strong. They have to pull that strength up from their boots and say, hey, you know, I can do this. I can make it today. Today's going to be a good day. So strength is huge when it comes to um, living in chronic pain. All right, so that's what we're going to put on this side is we're going to put our words. And I'm actually going to do these in marker this time. Where's my... That'll work. Pasta. So these are my S's, that's glue. So we have um, snuggle. We have support. And we have strength. Okay. So that is our three now I'm just doodling just because I can um, that is our three main strengths for chronic pain in the S department I think is snuggle support and strength those are the three that are the um, the best that we need to look at um, like I said, on the back side, we have suffering, sore, stiff, sharp, stinging, squeezing. I mean, we can just go on and on and on, right? Well, um, with the chronic pain, we do the best we can every day. Wake up in the morning and say, okay, I've got this. I can do it. And that's what we do. It's just, that's how we have to survive. So, like I said, I hope, you know, you guys enjoy this series. Uh, if there's anything else, um, any other S's, I'd love to see what your S words are. Um, and, yeah, it's life. That's what life is. All right, so let me just throw this on here. 
All right, guys, um, I hope you have enjoyed this week's tag. I hope you all are as pain-free as possible. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, for some reason, this isn't working right. Come on. There we go. Um, and, yeah, give me a thumbs up if that's something that, you know, you feel like doing. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this. this all right, this I'm taking off because this is annoying me. It's not the way I want it. It's not the way I want it. That's all right. We're going to leave it there. I'm not going to mess with it. So here we go. There's our S's. Here's our front side. Here's our back side. Sweet and simple. To the point. Love it. Uh, let me just, I want to do one more thing here. Ah! Got to have some white dots, don't we? One of Cindy's pieces of art would not be complete without white dots. I probably could have done this, um, the words in white too, but I didn't, so. All right, there we go. All right, guys, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Hey everybody, Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I've got our ABCs of Chronic Pain out here, and she's getting, look at, she's getting, she's getting big. Isn't she cool? Anyways, um, today we're going to do the letter T right here, and I have pulled out just some tissue paper, a little bit of fibers here. Not really sure where it's going today, but we're just going to play around and see what we come up with, right? So let's see, our words for T, we're going to talk about the bad words first, which um, the first one I'm going to say is torture, because... Let me tell you, it seems like every time I go to a doctor, um, just trying to see which way this writing is. I think it's this way. They tend to, it tends to feel like torture, doesn't it? Or is that just me? So living with chronic pain, you get to deal with torture. <laughs> they want to try this test, that test, another test, and see if that works, and see if this works, and yeah, it's it it ends up being torture at, at some point. So that's my first word, and I'm sure you guys can all relate to that. I have several more. Um, another one is um, tired. I know with the fibro, um, I fight that quite often. I, they call it fi um, fibro fatigue, and I fight it a lot. Um, there's days when I wake up, and it feels like I haven't slept in six months, and I just want to turn around, curl back up in bed, and just stay there because I'm exhausted. Um, you get tired of dealing with the pain. It gets old. You get tired of not feeling good. I, I would love, I would give anything at this point to have one hour, just one hour, where I actually felt good. It, it doesn't happen. Not when you're a survivor of chronic pain. So, yeah, so we deal with being tired all the time. Um, if somebody asks us to go somewhere and do something, it's not that we don't have interest. It's that physically our bodies are exhausted. And we just don't have enough energy in us to do whatever the, the you know, the invitation was. So um, I hope your friends and family understand this. Sometimes, it, you know, it's not about not wanting to. It's about not physically being able to. So tired is huge. Um, another one, uh, these are more like um, feelings. Um, I end up with throbs. My back always throbs. It doesn't never not throb. Okay, so throb is huge. Um, another thing that we get is tingling. I get a lot of tingling in my legs, down to my feet. Um, tingling is another word that, that is always, you know, if my husband will ask me, how are you feeling today? Oh my God, my feet are tingling or my legs tingling or, you know, it's throbbing or whatever the case may be. Um, those are words that are always used. Uh, another one is, um, tight. 
a lot of times my legs will be really tight and it'll feel like they're just completely cramped um, and it's just it is what it is it's part of the, the 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 problem part of the injury part of the fibro uh, and another one is trigger now when I thought about trigger on the T words, I'm thinking, you know, with triggers, we need to know what our triggers are. That's that was my thought on this one, is just knowing what your trigger is and knowing how to handle those triggers. You know, um, I know if I decide I'm going to go for um, shopping and I decide I'm going to walk all of Walmart, I know it's going to be a trigger and it's it's going to really upset my back. Um, I'm going to end up in a lot of pain. My legs are going to hurt. Um, my back is going to throb. And that's just, I know that is a trigger of mine. If I try to do an extended amount of walking, um, I have issues. So again, get to know your triggers. Know what causes it. And then figure out what to do to prevent those triggers from happening. I know, easier said than done. Well, I have to get groceries. I have to do this. I have to do that. That's fine. But you don't have to do it all in the same day. So those are, you know, just different pieces of advice when it comes to the triggers, right? Like I said, easier said than done. My hubby is in here today while I'm recording. He's probably over there listening going, uh-huh, you need to tell yourself that. Uh-huh, you need to tell yourself that. Right, honey? See. <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> so, um, yeah, those are a few of our bad T words. Let me, I'm going to dry this because it's quite wet with glue. Um, I'm going to dry this up and then we're going to actually decorate our back and start working on our front with our front words and see what we have in our tees. So I'll be back shortly. All right, so um, what I did is I just went around the outside with a Sharpie here on both sides. And then I have this, this is like a washi tape um, that I made eons ago in a, I think it was Diane Reevely uh, class that I took. So I like the colors. So I'm going to use a little bit of it on here. Just a little bit. Just to put a little bit of color here. Come on. Come on. Come undone. Yeah. Doesn't want to come undone. All right, so yeah, this is our, like I said, our, our bad words or our not so fun words. All right, so torture, tire, throb, tingling, tight, and trigger. Now, I've been thinking about this and I just wanted to do something simple on this card. I didn't really want to do anything crazy. So I'm gonna take this um, feather and it's a die cut that I got from, I think it was Wish. And it's normally really thick, but I took a layer of the cardstock off it, and I also cut around um, the entire feather to get rid of that white border um, that they have on them, because I just I don't like that white border. So, and now I'm just going to kind of outline the feather in black, just to make it pop a little bit more off the tag. All right. Yeah, so there it shows up a little bit better. And then I found this, I used this on, I think last week's, um, I found this, this right here, and I just want to stick it in here. Just trying to decide which way I want to do it. Let's go like this. To heck with it. Let's get her glued down, because we got other things to do. So let's glue her down. And then we're going to work on the good side. Um, there we go. Oh, I can smell my lunch. I've got lasagna in the oven. Oh, it smells really good. All right. So we are going to put our words right here on this. And um, I'm not going to make any of them bigger or smaller than the other ones. I just want to write all the words on here. Because, like I said, these are kind of words that we just, mm, they're no fun, right? And look, see, I have this all started. <laughs> I have a thing. All right, so we've got torture. Tired, tingling, we have throb, we have tight, we have trigger. 
We also have tents. Okay, um, because yeah, I get very, very tense when I have to deal with um, a lot of the pain. I'd like to put something right here, I'm just not sure what. Uh, let's see what we got here. just want to see if this would look funky. No, don't like it. How about a small piece of lace? Got a little piece of lace right here. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so nothing is going there for right now. Nope. All right. Yeah, I'm not not impressed with that one. Let's play with this one. Okay, I just put the deli paper on here, and then I was going through some of my stash, and I found a few other things. This is um, Dina Wakely. This is her uh, collage paper, and I just I really like the writing. So I want to put some of this on here. So I'm going to do that. Take some Mod Podge, or not Mod, uh, Matte Medium. Get a paintbrush here. And I just want to put a little bit of this down. Just like it. And I love the fact that it just kind of melts into the background. Isn't that cool? small pieces all right so let's talk about our good teas um, our good teas the first one we have is treatment I feel kind of mixed on this because um, you know I always like to say well you know definitely check out what treatments are available to you and if possible try them you never know what's gonna work well, unfortunately, I just had a very, very bad experience with a treatment. Um, uh, I was recommended to go to, first of all, physical therapy, uh, aquatic therapy, as well as uh, dry needling slash um, myofascial release. And let me tell you, it was the worst experience I've had since I've started with this chronic pain journey. Um, he did the myofascial release once, and he also, um, oh, that can go on the other side. I like this. Let's put one of these over here. Yeah, just because I can. I like that. Um, so we tried the myofascial release once. Uh, it put me in bed for three days. No, not three days. Five days. I was in bed for five days. Um, the first three were just beyond excruciating. I was in so much pain that I couldn't move my arms. I couldn't move my legs. I, it was just, it was awful. Um, and then, so I went back and I told him, I said, you know, cancel those appointments. I'm not going to do that again. So I, it took me a week to actually feel kind of normal after that treatment. Um, and he also did the dry needling that day. He put in three needles. Um, and so then I went back for the aquatic therapy. Well, every time I got out of the pool, I went into a major fibro flare. And you know what? Enough's enough. I, I called him up and I said, look, I can't do this. Um, it's causing me way more pain than what it's worth um you know i don't know you know was it something i was doing wrong i don't think so i think it's just how my body at this point is reacting to that kind of stuff and it didn't like it it did not like it at all so you know when when i talk about treatments try what's best for you if you think something might work for you i was i was hoping and praying that it would work for me you know if you think something might work for you go for it um don't not do it just because i said it didn't work for me you know make your own decisions but um you know just just look look around and see what you can do if you could if they recommend a treatment try it what's the worst that's going to happen the worst that's going to happen is you're not going to feel great right so that's the worst that's going to happen. But try the treatments and see what you can find, see what works for you, and go from there. Unfortunately, that type of treatment did not work for me. So 
um, you know, it's back to the drawing board. We'll see what happens, see what else I can do. Um, the next word is trust. This is a big one. Um, first of all, you have to trust that your doctor is listening to you. Okay? If you don't have a decent uh, rapport with your doctor, or if you don't feel you can trust your doctor with what you're telling them for them to listen, my recommendation is find a new doctor. There are so many doctors out there, you can't tell me that you can't find another doctor. I, I just, I don't believe that. Um, and I always try. I try, you know, if, if somebody and I don't click, then I move on. And let's find, you know, another doctor that will listen to what I'm saying and hopefully help me with what I'm saying. Um, you know, a couple things we can do about some of the symptoms that we talked about. Um, we always have the TENS unit. Sometimes I just have to rock my TENS unit for a few days. And sometimes it, that's all it takes to get things to calm down enough so that I'm comfortable, um, you know, moving. So rock your TENS unit if you have to. If you have to rock heat, rock heat. Um, don't, don't give up. Don't ever give up on you know, trying new things. Don't ever give up on that. Always try. See if it works. That's another word is try, right? See if they work for you. Um, let's see. What else do I want to do to her? I don't want to do a whole lot. I just wanted a little bit of color here just to kind of wake her up a little bit. I think I'm going to put yellow in her. Let's do some yellow for her stripes. Um, these are ink ten ink tense blocks, by the way. Um, I actually bought them individually. That's why I don't have them in their own tin. Someday I'm actually going to get the tin of, of them, you know, their own. But as of right now, I don't have it. So I just stuck them in an old tin I had here. Yeah. All right. So those are our words. Um, oh, think think. That's my last word that I've got. Um, and the reason I put think down is, you know, when you're dealing with chronic pain, you really have to think about what you're doing. You have to think about what, you know, cause and effect. If you do this, what's it going to do to you in the end? How's it going to make you feel? Are you going to be, you know, in bed for six weeks? Are you going to be um, ready to go tomorrow after a couple hours rest, whatever the case may be. So you always have to think. You always have to think about what's going to happen, right? I'm liking her better than the other side. I don't like the other side of this tag. I just don't like it. Ick. So, sorry guys, I don't like it. It's ick. I'd love to just wipe over it, but you know what? We're moving on. So, um, I like this too. So, yeah, definitely think. We need to think about what is happening and, and what causes us the pain. So, on this side, we're going to put treatment. And I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I'm going to do... Okay, there's treatment. And then we're going to put on here think. I'm going to put on here tens because I have to use my tens. That's a good thing. And we're going to put on here trust. All right. And I'm sure as I come up with more words, I'll stick them onto there. But I just wanted something different. Let me, I want to find something for right here. I've got some brads here. And it doesn't matter what the other side, because the other side I'm not happy with anyway. So, let's see. What can we put here? Fish. Um, doo -doo -doo. Gosh, that lasagna smells really good. Alright, let's choose this. 
see if this fits in here. If not, no, it's not gonna. So we're gonna use a pokey tool. I'm gonna poke a hole right there. All right, I hope this guy, this helps you guys out a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, it's, these are my experiences and this is what I think about things and I really don't like that side. <laughs> Um, and you know, if, if any little bit of it will help you in some way, you know, that's, that's good. That's what I'm here to do. So, um, you know, don't forget to, you know, take care of yourself because if you don't, who's going to do it for you? Nobody. So you have to take care of yourself. I really like this. All right. Let me. Here's just a small piece of blue. I think that's all I'm going to put on here. Oh, maybe I'll use a little bit of this. Some yellow and orange. We're just going to put a small piece on today. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to share your tags with me on Art, um, art Play Through Chronic Pain, which is T-H-R-U, Chronic Pain which is my Facebook page um, for these tags and for chronic pain in general. And yeah, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.